In this video, I will be demonstrating arrays and list boxes. Uh, first, let me show you how the video looks like, how the application will look like, and then we'll go over the application. Uh, notice the moment the application runs, uh, there's a list box which gets populated with 50 random numbers between 0 and 100. Uh, notice all the buttons are disabled except for one button, which is the copy to array button. Uh, we do this primarily to make sure that the user is guided into the proper direction and they don't make a mistake. Uh, once you click on copy to array, uh, all the elements are copied into an array and uh, copy to array option is disabled and rest of the buttons are enabled. Then obviously you can copy from a list box. Uh, this is just to demonstrate all the capabilities of an array. Uh, you can copy from an array to a list box, you can find out what's the maximum uh, in an array, find out what's the minimum in an array, uh, sum them together, find out the average, uh, you can find out for example, let's say I want to find out 92, and obviously 92 is present in the array, I can see that over here, uh, and click OK, it actually says 92 found and it also highlights that 92 in the list box. So this is what we're going to do uh, right now. File, new project, uh, Windows form application, arrays and list boxes. So again, I will add two list boxes, one label just. the message then one button which is basically copy to an array copy to array and then we make copies of these buttons uh, copy from array to the second list box this will be find minimum find maximum sum average This one right here will be find something in an array. So we'll call it as find text. This is find average find maximum find minimum and find sum so we'll leave the list box 1 as list box 1 and list box 2 as list box 2 uh, we'll call this label as lbl message uh, we're just displaying a message over here uh, we'll call this as lbl message call these buttons btn copy to array btn copy from array btn sum btn min btn max btn average and btn find text all right so now i said when the form uh, loads for the very first time we call this as form main and uh, arrays and list boxes so when the form loads for the very first time I wanted to generate 50 random numbers 
and add those 50 random numbers to the list box 1. So we'll create a form load event. Form load event. So what exactly are we doing in the form load event? We are creating 50 random numbers. So dim rand as new random and uh, for counter is equal to 0 to 49 uh, because it goes from uh, 0 to 49 is 50 random numbers and uh, list box 1 dot items dot add rand dot next and 0 comma 101 uh, 101 is not inclusive so this will generate random numbers between 0 and 101 if you run this you'll notice that your list box is ready and it has 100 random numbers so that's all that we will do in the form load event uh, actually also in the form load event uh, we will enable the copy to array button and disable all the other buttons so we'll say btn average dot enabled is equal to false btn uh, copy from average dot enabled is equal to false btn uh, copy to array dot enabled is equal to true btn max dot enabled is equal to false btn min dot enabled is equal to false uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 buttons. Uh, find text and find average are find text dot enabled is equal to false. PTN find uh, average dot enabled is equal to false. So there you go. So now when you run this application, notice uh, well, find sum is remaining. Copy to array. Uh, is enabled and rest of the buttons are disabled. So, uh, ptn sum dot enabled is equal to false. So that's what we do in the form load event. Uh, I'm going to minimize this so that I can show you uh, other aspects. So when you when the user clicks on copy to array, uh, what needs to be done is uh, your program should read all the contents of the list box and copy to the array. Uh, because we will be using this array for other uh, events also, we should declare a class level array. Uh, dim str array and uh, since our array has a size of 50, we will declare it as dim str array uh, 49 as string. Now for our copy to array what we are doing is uh, uh, it's easy for counter is equal to 0 to list box 1 dot items dot count minus 1 and what exactly are we doing is we are saying str array counter is equal to list box 1 dot items dot items and counter and uh, once the entire process is over, we can say uh, lbl message dot text is equal to all items copied to the array. Right. So now when you run it, notice there are 50 random numbers. Uh, the only option available is copy to array. You copy to array, it says all items copied to the array. But uh, unfortunately, uh, right now the other options are still not available so what we need to do is we need to enable all the other buttons and disable the so I'm just gonna copy this from here and paste it over here and what I'll say is this is true this is true this is false this is true this is true this is true this is true and this is true so run it, copy to array, this becomes disabled and everything else becomes enabled. Now copy from array, what I want is everything that is available in the array should be copied to the second list box and uh, uh, maybe you perform some arithmetic operations multiplied by 2, multiplied by 10 and then copy to the second list box. So copy from array, again, for counter is equal to 0 to list 
actually now we can actually use the size of the array <coughs> str array dot length minus one and what we are saying is that uh, list box two dot items dot add and what exactly are you adding you're adding the uh, first uh, you're adding the array so str array counter now if you want to multiply if you want to perform some arithmetic operations uh, you can basically say something like uh, uh, convert to integer str array times 2 or times 10 or something like that uh, so notice now copy to array and copy from array everything gets multiplied by 2 uh, and it is displayed in the second list box uh, all right uh, let's uh, find the sum to find the sum I'll actually first write a function uh, called a sum so uh, private function sum uh, as integer because it is returning an integer data type uh, and over here I'm gonna say dims total as integer total for counter is equal to 0 to str array dot length minus 1 and total plus equal to str array counter and then I can return total so then the sum simply becomes uh, L I am not displaying it anywhere I should have a label over here so label this is label 1 where I am displaying the sum label 2 where I am displaying the minimum maximum average and results of fine text so find sum becomes label 1 dot text is equal to uh, sum and dot to string and uh, I will format it to so that it doesn't display any uh, any decimals uh, likewise find average becomes really simple because uh, I can still call that function again and I can say uh, label this will be label 4 label 4 dot text is equal to uh, and once again sum uh, divided by um, str array dot length dot to string and this time I will format it so that it can display two decimal places uh, the next thing that we want to do is find minimum uh, to find minimum what we do is we assume that uh, uh, dim min as as integer and we assume that the lowest uh, the first element of the array is the minimum number so str array 0 and then we go into the counter uh, we go into the for next loop and we say if str array counter is less than minimum uh, is less than minimum then minimum is equal to str array counter and uh, if not then obviously uh, and then we display this uh, for min label 2 label 2 dot text is equal to min uh, for max it will be exactly the same uh, except that instead of min we'll have max and we'll have a greater than sign let's run this copy to array copy from array find sum find minimum uh, maximum we need to change the label over here this should be label 3 copy to array find min find max maximum average is 50 uh, find text is remaining let's do find text double click on find text and uh, again uh, first we need to find out what text uh, we have to find uh, 
we'll do that in the second part all right the last part of this uh, uh, project is uh, the find text button if uh, the user clicks on find text it should throw an input box asking the user what do they want to find and if the item is find uh, uh, item is found in the in the array uh, it displays a message in the label 5 saying that the item was found it also selects that item in the list box and if the item is not found it doesn't select anything in the list box and it says that the item was not found so double click it will create a button find text click event uh, first we want to find out dim str find as string so this way it will hold the item that the user wants to find and then we also want to declare another variable to hold the position of the item that was found so dim index of item as integer now we can run a loop for counter is equal to 0 to str array dot length minus 1 and what we are saying is if str find is equal to str array counter then if str find is equal to str array counter then label 5 dot text is equal to found item and we will display the item and we will set the <coughs> the index of item as same as counter else if the item is not found then label 5 dot text is equal to item not found and index of item will become negative 1 now right now we are not storing anything in str find we need an input box to store that thing str find is equal to input box what do you want to search and then finally uh, if the item is found we are actually want to exit the for loop because otherwise it will keep going through the loop and if the last item is not the item that was found it will always show that the item was not found so we want to say exit for uh, over here and then finally we will say list box one dot items list box one dot selected index is equal to index of item let's run this copy to array copy from array to the list box find some find minimum find maximum find average find text so let's find a 96 obviously that is visible so it selects 96 it says item found oops there you go find text I want to find 32 it selects 32 says item found 32 and then the next item I want to find is 101 obviously that is not present it says item not found and it removes the selection uh, that's all about arrays and list boxes more examples following thank you